Hi, this is Rob. We're going to do a time-lapse video on the Insta360 ONE X 360 degree action camera. The video you see now was recorded on the ONE X. We'll edit the video on the Insta360 ONE X app on a smartphone. This panning effect is done on the ONE X app. There are two ways to set up a time-lapse on the ONE X. The first is to connect the ONE X via Wi-Fi Bluetooth and use the app to choose the settings for the time-lapse recording. The second method is to set up the time lapse directly on the One X camera. First method, set up a time lapse in the app. After connecting the One X with the smartphone via Wi Fi, go to the One X app. In the app, tap on this camera icon here. This page opens up. Tap on the video camera icon here. Then tap on this adjustments icon here. Now we want to tap on the video camera icon here so we can change the time lapse mode. Now we have three choices video, bullet time, and time lapse. Tap on the time lapse icon here. Now we can choose the settings we want for our time lapse. Those settings are located along here. The first one is interval. Tap on the interval icon here. We can choose a time interval when a frame is recorded for the time lapse video, from 1 second interval to 120 second intervals. A 1 second interval means that the camera will take an image every second. 120 second interval means the camera will take an image every 120 seconds, which is 2 minutes. I usually use 1 second intervals for my time lapses. The next icon here is Auto. Tap on it. Then we are given the choice of Auto or Manual. We will first look at Auto. Even though you are in auto mode, you can still choose some adjustments in auto. This one is ISO. Gives you a choice of ISO ranges. You see the less than sign? Less than 400, less than 800, and less than 1600. You choose one of the settings and the camera will keep the ISO less than that setting. You have more flexibility in manual mode and we'll look at that soon. Next is exposure compensation. A slider to adjust for more or less exposure. The next icon is Fast or Auto. You may not see this icon on your One X. This icon came with a new camera firmware update, firmware 1.15.17. If you do not see this icon, then you need a camera firmware update. I made a video on how to update the firmware on the One X, and I will leave a link in the description below. I'm going to choose Auto and then choose Fast. Then you get this pop-up message. This was a firmware update to reduce motion blur in the video. If you choose Fast, it will reduce the motion blur in the video, but it will also decrease the video quality when shooting indoors or in low light situations. The white balance icon is here. You have a choice of different white balance situations. You can turn log on or off. Log is also known as flat footage. Recording log allows you to retain more shadow detail and tonal range in the video so that you can color grade the video later in post-processing. This is an advanced feature in video editing. If the log is in yellow, then log is on. Tap on it to turn log white, which is off. Okay, I will tap on this auto icon here and go into the manual settings. Once the manual, along the bottom here are all the manual settings. The difference is in manual is that you can choose the shutter speed here. There is no fast auto for motion blur and there is no exposure compensation because you control the exposure with the shutter speed and the ISO. You may notice there is no aperture adjustment. That is because the lens on the One X is a fixed aperture lens meaning the lens only has one setting. The aperture on the One X is a f2.0 lens. I will tap on the ISO setting. You have a choice of ISO 100, 200, 400, 800, 1600, or 3200. I will tap on the shutter speed icon here. You have a wide variety of shutter speeds from 1 30th of a second to 1 8,000th of a second. Auto white balance icon here. You have different white balance situations. The log icon here. 
I explained the log settings before. Tap on it and make it yellow to turn log on. If the icon is white, then log is off. The other method for setting up a time lapse is to set the time lapse settings in the One X camera directly. On the One X, go to the settings icon. I am pressing the lower smaller button to go to the settings mode. This is the video mode. This is the settings mode. Press the larger upper button to go into settings. This is the photo settings. Press the big button. This is the video settings. This is what we want. Press the lower smaller button to go down to standard. Now press the big button to switch from standard to bullet time to time lapse. We are now in the time lapse settings. Press the smaller lower button to go to interval. Press the big button to change the interval time. We had one second. This is two seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, and 120 seconds. Back to one second. I usually use a one second interval. Press the smaller lower button to go down to ISO. We have ISO auto, ISO less than 400, ISO less than 800, ISO less than 1600, and back to ISO auto. Go down to shutter. This is that firmware update, shutter auto or shutter fast to reduce motion blur in the video. Go down to log. You have log on or log off. And those are all the settings when you set the time lapse directly on the One X. Go down to done and press the big button to exit. To start the time lapse, go to the video camera mode by pressing the smaller or lower button right here. It will quickly flash time lapse to let you know that the video camera is set to time lapse. Here you see I have a full battery. Wi-Fi is turned off to conserve battery. 54 minutes of video recording time available. It's going to record the time lapse at 5.7K. You can't change this for time lapses. Time lapses will always record at 5.7K unless you do a firmware update in the future. The video will be P30, better known as 30P, 30 frames per second, P for progressive, shooting at one second intervals. This is a good time to talk about how long to shoot. Say I want a 20 second video. The video will be 30 frames per second. One second of video time will take 30 seconds of recording time. So if I want a 20 second time lapse video, take 20 second video times 30 frames per second equals 600 seconds of recording time. 600 seconds is 10 minutes of recording time. So recording at a one second interval, 10 minutes of recording will give us a 20 second time lapse. 15 minutes of recording will give us a 30 second time lapse. 20 minutes of recording will give us a 40 second time lapse. To start recording, if you are using the app, press the record button on the app. If you are using the One X, press the big button to start recording. The light below flashes to blue every time it takes a shot. Up top here you have a timer that lets you know how much recording time has lapsed. However, it is difficult to see this LED outside in bright daylight which is the exact time of day you want to record a time lapse on this camera. To stop recording the time lapse, press the big upper button. You're probably going to want to shoot a time lapse on a tripod. So this is what I use to record this time lapse. It is the Insta360 selfie stick on top of a mini tripod. The mini tripod is called the Petco Ultra Pod 2. I'll put a link in the description below. I also have a YouTube video on this mini tripod. There's a newer model called the Petco UltraPod Grip. I'll put a link below. They are both less than $25. The combination of this UltraPod and the selfie stick is very lightweight. Editing the video. I use the One X app to edit the time lapse. I like to use the cable to connect the One X to my smart device. When you are connected to the One X with the app, tap on the album icon here. Then on top, Tap on the camera to see the 360 degree photos and videos on the One X. I have no 360 photos. Tap on the video camera icon here. It may take a few seconds to load the video files. Right here, this clock symbol 
is a time-lapse video. I'm going to tap on it. There I am on the time-lapse, but I am not the subject of this time-lapse. I'll drag the video around. You can trim the video here or wait until you download the video to the smartphone. I like to wait and do all the edits after I transfer the video to the smart device. So let's download the video to the smartphone. Tap on this down arrow here to download the video to the smart device. For this 20 second video, it took 30 seconds to download. First thing is to change the aspect ratio for the video by tapping here. There are three different aspect ratios. 9 to 16, which is vertical, 1 to 1 for Instagram, and 16 to 9 for YouTube. I want 16 to 9. Let's take a look at this icon here in the upper right. There are two things of interest on this page. The first is the logo. The default is this logo is turned on. Right now it is off. If it is yellow, then it is on. This logo setting has been making me angry. I think there's a bug concerning this logo feature in the app. When you first download the video to the app, and go in here to turn off the logo, and then process the video after all the edits, it still puts a logo on the video. I found that you need to turn this logo off, and then re-download the video again to the app, in order for this logo off feature to work. If you have a different experience, let me know in the comments. Maybe in a future app update, they will fix this issue. The other thing is this restore video feature. After you make edits to your video in the app and you don't like the editing that you did, tap on this restore video and it will take out all your edits and restore the video back before you made any edits. It will not go back to your last edit. It will take out all edits and then you will start new again. Tap on this X to exit out of this page. This icon here is where you will do all your edits on the video. Tap on it. You have filters, adjust the speed, trim the video, and add royalty-free music. First thing I like to do is trim the video. The trim tool on this app took me a while to figure it out, and I may not have completely figured it out. The trim tool on this app works in the opposite way of other trim tools on other video editing apps and software. To trim a video on this app, drag the film strip to where you want the beginning of the video to start, then tap on this opposite trim tool here. Then it takes you to the end of the video. Now drag the film strip to where you want the video to stop. Then tap on the opposite trim tool here. Then it takes me to the beginning where I want the video to start. This is the part that has been trimmed. But you can restore your trims if you want. The next thing you want to do is set some pivot points on the video. Pivot points will guide the panning of the video. This is what will make doing time lapses unique on the 1X. I'm starting at the beginning of my video where the trim starts. Drag the video for a starting point. Then with your finger, press and hold at the center of the video. This appears. You have a choice of placing a pivot point or a smart track. If you place a smart track on a moving object or person, then the video will track that object or person. I am not going to use any smart tracks on this video. I want to place a pivot point, so we'll tap pivot point. That yellow dot is the pivot point. This is where the video will start. Now I want to pan this time lapse to the right. I'm going to drag the film strip below about halfway through the time at about 13 seconds mark and then drag the video to the right. Press and hold in the middle of the video and place another pivot point here. I'll drag the film strip below toward the end and drag the video above in the opposite direction and place another pivot point in the center of the video. Okay, let's do a quick review of the video. Drag the film strip to the beginning. Press play. These pivot points are making our time lapse pan to the right. and then pan to the left. It looks a little jerky here, but it will play smooth when you process the video. Let's go back up here and look at the other editing features. 
I am tapping here, Filters. These are the filters. The speed. You can slow down the video or, or increase the speed of the video. I'll go back. The music. This is royalty free music that the app has. Currently there are six different songs to choose from. This is what they sound like. I'm going to choose none and go back. I'll tap this check mark here. I am back at my time lapse. This button here is where you upload your finished time lapse. When you tap on one of these, the app will process the video and upload it. These are the choices I have. It says here, social apps you haven't installed are not displayed. One app that I have on my phone is Dropbox. Dropbox is not a social app, but I wish that Dropbox was a choice to upload to. And currently there's no way to add Dropbox to this list. Maybe in a future update to the app. So what I use is Local Here, which downloads to your smart device. Then I connect my phone to my desktop to place the video on my desktop for any post-processing. I will choose Local Here. Then this window appears. You can export the video as a fixed frame video, which we are going to do, or as a 360 degree video. Currently fixed frame is highlighted. Then I tap on export in the upper right. It is exporting. I will speed this part of the video up. It took about three minutes to process and upload this 23 second video to my phone. And this was a fixed frame video. A 360 degree video may take longer. Okay, that is it. If you have not bought the One X yet, I will leave two links below. One is where you can order the directly from the company and they will also send you a free selfie stick and I will get a small commission from the company. The other link is for Amazon. You will get your order faster from Amazon but will not get a free selfie stick. Look for my other videos on the Insta360 One X on YouTube. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel.